He has like thousands of viewers waiting for him every day. Hey, Kato's right there, Michael. You're so far! At least you're a death knight. You know what I'm gonna play? Sorry, Michael. some water. Good. Here it is. Hey, congrats, Michael. Oh, I didn't realize he honks when you loot him. That's so cute. For sure, dude. Thanks for uh, being so cool, by the way. <laughs> Over by me! <laughs> no! Uh huh. All right. Well, we we. I got Anx. Horde warm it on. Please post your name and realm when you are ideally in deep home. Hi, baby boy. Honk. No, someone else got him! Please, don't kill him. I'm sharing him with my stream. He's gonna die! No! Ah! Anax, oh, where'd he go? I am Horde War Mode on. Whoever's stream sniping me, don't, don't do it, please. All right, follow me, buddy. We're friends now. We're besties. <laughs> I can invite um, four other people. Hey, buddy. Where are you going? You all right? <laughs> he's just he's just spazzing out a little bit. All right, I'm gonna kill myself, and he's gonna teleport, okay? And as soon as he teleports, you're gonna murder him. There he goes! <laughs> teleport an axe. By the way, I, I didn't invite a uh, full group because um, I just don't- Look at them falling! <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Um, I, it's just because I'm kind of being stream sniped right now, so I want, um, you know. I, I want people to get him without it getting sniped. 
Anyway, congrats guys. Anax is a fucking awesome mount. It's one of my faves. Who would do that? Some people like to troll. I, I mean, last week I sniped a portal from somebody that was um, holding it for somebody else, so it's just, you know, the name of the game. It's fair game, I just get nervous, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's all good. It's, uh, like, all, uh, all's fair in love and rare mounts, dude. War mode on. War mode is on. Oh, we got one! Alright, uh, I'm Horrid Warmode on. If you see where this Anax is, it's gonna be right here. This is where you're gonna wait. You're gonna wait underneath the P, this spawn point. You're gonna wait for him. Once I invite you. This is only open to Horde, War Mode on, US players. I'm sorry, it's US only because uh, that's how these realms work, unfortunately. Um, but I can invite you. Please, no snipey. Be nice. It's a charity stream! Alright, here we go. I don't know how fast he teleports over, but we're gonna find out, I think. Farewell, my friend. <laughs> I love it. Good luck, fellas. I hope you all get him. There they go! <laughs> awesome. Oh, goodbye! <laughs> Rest in peace! Hey, I'm so stoked. Always in a dungeon? Oh, rip. Woohoo! Wow, this is my first full Anax group in so long? Like, holy smokes! Everyone got it. Absolutely awesome. I'm so stoked. <laughs> hey Stormrage, how you doing? Just got an Anax, so I'm pretty happy. Fluorescent Stormbreak. Woohoo! Big grats, everyone! <laughs> I think that's Ally lurking in the background. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey guys, thanks again for watching the video. I'm going to quickly explain how I farm these two rare spawns. Uh, for the Kodo, what I do is I make a uh, alliance character on a roleplay realm, war mode on. Um, the reason why I make an alliance character is because it is easier to get to Darkshore this way. So Darkshore is impacted by something called uh, zone resetting, at least that's what it's dubbed as, which means that if there's nobody in the zone for 15 minutes, um, including yourself and other players, that means that the zone will reset. And what that means is that all the rares in the zone reset, um, I've talked about this before in another video, this doesn't impact zones like Deep Holm or Vashir, but it does impact zones like New Darkshore and Timeless Isle. So the best way to take advantage of this is to make a class trial on an Alliance character, and then take the portal to Darnassus, but it'll actually take you to Darkshore, and then just park your trial there. Um, make sure you're close to the Kodo spawns because it despawns in about two minutes. And it takes a while to load in. And there it is. <laughs> I happen to be right on top of it, which is quite convenient. However, um, it will despawn extremely fast. I have a target macro that picks them up. I'll show you my target macro. It's pretty big. It's because I use it for every rare spawn. <laughs> and uh, that's how I've been able to give out Kodos on my stream. Um, I just have a bunch of class trials in Darkshore, War Mode On. And I log in every like 20 minutes or so to allow the area to reset. Keep in mind this doesn't always work because there are people that play on these realms and they are going to be in Darkshore doing Darkshore things, whether it's going to be looking for the Kodo or just, you know, do the daily quest stuff here. Um, but yeah, Kodo Kodo. Bye bye.
So for Annex, I use Class Trials again. Um, however, you cannot claim Annex on a Class Trial. Please keep this in mind. So the um, best way to search for Annex, at least the way I do it, is I look for him for people on my stream. And what that involves... God, what a terrible sound. <laughs> uh, is doing a circle inside of the Temple of the Earth and pressing a target macro. I don't need to fly outside of the temple to target Annex. Uh, every single spawn location can indeed be targeted from the inside of the temple. So I checked war mode off, so now I'm going to check war mode on. And remember, I can't claim this on this character, but other players can claim it if I invite them to my group. Pressing my target macro. No annex, and then I go on to the next realm. It's quite simple. So, by the way, when you make your class trial, make an alliance one. By the way, I can't like reiterate that enough. <laughs> um, when you use your Hearthstone, you're gonna be teleported to the Stormwind docks, and this is conveniently where you want to be. All right. So once you spawn, or whatever, load in. Uh, fly over to, I think it's the Bota Borales Harbor. Just the harbor, though, because you're going to be taking the portal to Darnassus. It says Darnassus, it won't say Darkshore, but click it. You'll get two loading screens. The first one should go fast, and the second one will... It'll either take a long time, or it'll be short. Uh, usually it's short for me, so... Um, anyway, you're gonna float down to one of the Kodo spawns. And then you're gonna log out for 15 to 20 minutes. I recommend 20 minutes just to make sure. And then you log in and look for your Kodo with your target macro. And I just wanna thank you guys again for watching and good luck farming your rare spawns.